All right, today's video is a capacitor in an AC circuit. We're looking at capacitive reactants. This is just a series RC circuit, and channel one on the scope is measuring the source voltage. Channel two on the scope is measuring the voltage across the capacitor. This is the circuit that you're looking at. It's set at 2 kilohertz right now. And I'm trying to show you that the voltage lags the current. In other words, in a capacitor, the current happens first to charge up the capacitor. Current doesn't flow through the dielectric, but the electrons move from one plate to another, and that requires current. I calculated the capacitive reactants. The formula for capacitive reactants, at least when you're dealing with a sine wave as seen by the 2 pi, is the frequency times the capacitance. That gives you reactants symbolized by X. X of C, capacitive reactants. Now when you start getting into AC circuits, we're dealing with impedance rather than just total resistance. I did go ahead and calculate the impedance of the circuit. And the first thing I did was I looked at my capacitor. It was a 474. And 474 corresponds to the rating of the capacitor. The first number is a digit. The second digit followed by a multiplier. It's given in picofarads. And that relates to... 0.47 microfarads. I measured it on the bridge. The actual value was 0.438 micro. And I also measured the resistor on the DMM. The resistor was a 390. So I used the actual values to find the impedance or the measured values, and I found the impedance was 424.36 ohms. So the AC voltage divider, I take the capacitive reactants, divide it by the impedance, and then multiply that by the source to get the voltage across the cap. And as frequency increases, X of C decreases. So as frequency increases, the voltage across the cap goes down. I found that at 4 volts peak to peak, I'm expecting 1.71 volts peak to peak or 855 millivolts peak. That should be millivolts peak. All right, let's take a look on the scope. And on the scope, we can clearly see channel one. It's the larger waveform. When I go to ground on channel one, I lose my trigger. And channel two, that's the voltage across the cap. So channel one, the scope is set up right now. Channel one is at 50 millivolts per division with a times 10 probe. That's a half a volt per division. Channel 2 is also a half a volt per division with the times 10 probe. Channel 1, channel 2. The source from the function generator, channel 1. Voltage across the capacitor, channel 2. The source of the generator is from a ground, a half a volt, one volt, one and a half, two volts peak, negative two volts on the negative peak, or four volts peak to peak. And let's see the voltage across the capacitor. The voltage across the capacitor 
is going from a center ground one division it's not quite two divisions it's one point two point four point six it's about one point eight one point eight divisions times five hundred millivolts per division gives me about 900 millivolts peak. And that's really close to what I expected. And while we've got this set up, along with seeing the lag in voltage, we can also see that the capacitor voltage decreases as I increase frequency. So again, the circuit right here is just a RC circuit with channel 1 across the source from the generator, channel 2 across the capacitor, and at 2 kilohertz is where I made my measurement. As I increase the frequency, the voltage across the cap should decrease. So I'm going to increase the frequency. The source is staying the same, while the voltage across the capacitor is going down. Capacitors are considered an AC short and a DC open because once the capacitor charges up in DC, ideally, current stops flowing. In AC, it's really less ohms the higher the frequency. Another thing I like to remember is that L, an inductor, is the opposite of the capacitor. You get voltage first and then current. The one we're looking at right now, capacitor, you get current or intensity first, and then you get voltage. The E was for electromotive force, I believe. We use a V more common today, but Eli the Iceman is a real uh, convenient way to remember this phase relationship. And that's all for today. Maybe we'll pick it up a little later and do the math for the phase angle. But that is a capacitor in AC circuits, uh, AC voltage divider with an RC capacitor using two channels on the analog scope.